Uh, I'm Matt Hudson. I'm the marketing director for Dire Wolf Digital. So Matt, Matt, you just released Raiders of the North Sea on digital. Yeah, it's an amazing tabletop game uh, published by our friends at Renegade Game Studios. And we're very excited. We just brought it to uh, iOS and Android phones and tablets for PC and Mac on Steam uh, and Nintendo Switch. That's great. What are some of the challenges when bringing a tabletop game into the digital space? Oh, uh, so it's a thing we're very passionate about. Uh, you know, we are big fans of, of gaming in all its stripes. We started as a video game company, but have a lot of affinity for tabletop gaming. And the intersections of digital and physical stuff are really exciting to us. Uh, with a game like Raiders, the biggest thing that we want to capture is what makes the game special, right? You don't want to do just a straight translation of here are the rules running on a 2D rendered board and, a, you know, it's boring, it's, yeah, it's not what we're trying to do. But what we're always looking for is how can we capture the spirit of the game and really translate it and evolve it for a digital uh, medium. And for a game like Raiders, that means taking its sort of amazing, iconic art style, its character art, bringing those characters in that world to life and creating an environment that you really want to explore and get lost in. So for someone who's never heard of Raiders of the North Sea, kind of give a brief description of the gameplay and what you're doing. Sure. Uh, so Raiders is a worker placement game uh, that has this really great mechanic where on every turn you place a worker and remove a worker and generate resources or take actions twice. Uh, in it, you are a uh, Viking chieftain trying to win honor and glory for your tribe by conducting daring raids around these settlements across the North Sea. So you've got to build a crew and provision it and keep all these rowdy Vikings in line based on the things that they need in order to go conduct these raids to generate victory points. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most victory points uh, wins. One of the really neat strategic elements of Raiders as you get deeper into it is because of the place and remove your worker uh, component, you can start to play against and cut other players off of the resources they need uh, by how you place your workers will constrain or you know permit them to make the choices that they need on their turn. So it, it has a lot of depth, uh, but it's very fun and sort of quick to pick up and easy to learn how to play. Can you talk about how Dire Wharf works with these third-party studios to help make their board game a digital experience? Sure. Uh, we've been working with the folks at Renegade for a very long time. Uh, we're co-publishers on all of our physical board games. Uh, you know the the Clank line, uh, Eternal Chronicles. So we have a very we have a great relationship with them. And for us, it always starts with you know what are the games that we are all excited by? What are the games that really seem like would have a special experience when they come to digital? With the understanding that there's a lot of work and a lot of time and effort that goes into doing that. So it's 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 a it's a serious undertaking, but one that we work very closely and collaboratively collaboratively on. Uh, and you know with with Raiders, we've turned out a game that's really great and we're really proud of, so it's been a great experience. You've worked with a lot of products in your time, both board games and digital. Have you ever seen a, a digital, a board game mechanic that just was re worked really well in the physical space but did not translate well in the digital space? Uh, sure, yeah, I mean, there. one of the places where you'll encounter that is uh, sometimes uh, social games, I think, you know, it's, are, are a hard thing to adapt uh, digitally. Uh, anything that involves a lot of table talk or signal reading or things like that. Sometimes the physical manipulation of components is a, an important part of the emotional experience of playing a game. That can be a hard thing uh, to, to translate, certainly. Um, but really, there's so much great stuff happening, not just with us, but with a lot of studios that are doing more and more to explore digital adaptations of physical board games, that it really feels like the genre as a whole is moving forward, and we're really excited to be a part of that. Raiders of the North Sea is, uh, is out now on iOS, Android, Nintendo Switch. Any plans for PS4 and Xbox? Uh, it's also on Steam for PCs and Macs. Uh, we've done some development on PS4 and Xbox for other games like uh, Eternal, our digital card game is out on Xbox right now. There's a different set of you know, challenges and opportunities that go into console development, but it's definitely something that we are you know, interested in and exploring, though we don't have a specific timeline that we commit to, to the, for that yet. I know this is really out there for you, sure. but have you ever explored the VR space? We have, actually. I, I will say uh, there's a couple of our games that I have played in VR uh, prototypes, which uh, our artists were very modest about and absolutely blew my mind uh, as, as you know, uh, a human interacting in a digital environment. I, I looked over the edge of the world and I gazed into the abyss. Um, <laughs> Yeah, VR, VR is a super exciting space. I mean, really, I think a lot of what it comes down to is how, you know, fine mechanic motor skill you need your manipulation of the digital environment to be as to whether or not it makes sense. 
you know, where's the overall sort of market install base at and like what are the costs associated with it. But it's super cool and there's some great stuff happening there. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's a thing that a lot of companies will continue to explore and I'm really excited for what the future holds there. Well, you know, Oculus has the Quest, which is a wireless, a, a portable VR headset. Yeah. You think we'll get to the point, just in general, not necessarily with Direwolf, but where you sit down at the table, put that on and then see your friends around tables and playing Clank? I mean, I can't imagine why we wouldn't. The future is a bright and beautiful thing, and you know, I, I'm all for any any way anybody wants to play Clank uh, in this crazy future we're building towards. We're very excited for. It.